my in-game tag is Cyronic. I was originally in one of the, the earliest tests and I didn't really like it at first. It wasn't a simple game and I think at, at some point that started bothering me so much that I put in more time to learn it. I started falling in love with the game and, and played it a lot. I found myself um, doing this tiny little stream for a few people and I thought I had some different views on some things. Eventually that got me on a pro team and then that kind of blew up and found myself at Invitational uh, doing analyst stuff. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh, it's, it's, it's the guy with the beard. My beard became like a brand for me. I just basically didn't shave because I was lazy and then figured out that that doesn't really work. You, you kind of have to like get it trimmed and you know. When you're in a team, people need to fulfill certain roles. I ended up playing a character in the game that has a beard, funny enough, called Blackbeard. And that was just, that was the, the perfect mix. Well, Siege is built up with everything having something to do with each other. You can swap one operator for another to get a job done, for example. But it, it, it changes the way that everything works. You're probably gravitated a bit towards operators that you like relate to, based on either history, uh, look. But I, from like a competitive standpoint, it's still important for me that I play something that works with the team. If I can get to do both at the same time, that's the best thing. I think law matters a lot, and I wish there was more of it. Our community is amazing at giving personality to some of the, the operators that might not have as much lore. The actual game lore versus the gameplay universe or the community universe, I'm sure one of them could exist without the other, but I think there's some charm to them being intertwined and, and mixed a bit. Like, if I want to sit and read about it at night, it's not going to take anything away from the competitive experience. Cosplayers, fan artists, devs that actually really care about the game, pro players that develop stuff that teaches younger and newer players how the game is played at a competitive level, content creators that just play for fun but make it extremely entertaining to watch. I think some of them are so far apart and have so little to do with each other except for Siege. Everyone truly cares about the game. I just wish they were maybe a little bit better at you know, letting each other know sometimes, instead of just being busy with what's not good. It's really easy whenever something new comes out, to just go, ah, oh, no, I don't really like that. Like, I want people to try and break things down as it's a challenge instead of a problem. I think Invitational is like the, the reminder once a year that everyone has the same interest. It's amazing to have this one thing that connects everything. Knowing that this one coming up is, is bigger and better and I can't even imagine it. I didn't imagine that I was gonna, you know, fly to Rio, Montreal, Las Vegas. To be there and be involved in a, in a video game and, and truly care about not just the game but the people involved, the scene, uh, it, it's, it's brought a lot of good stuff to my life, which I'm, I'm very thankful for. And it's a, it's a good way to get to be creative and, and use your mind a lot. I don't want to imagine a time when there's not Siege. Uh, and it's hard to think back to what I would have done if Siege wasn't there. It feels kind of good, you know, like go home and say, mom, the time spent at the PC maybe wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm.